I think this will get you a little closer to um, where you need to be. Uh, I don't have one of your tables in here because it's a bit too complex to put in for this kind of test. But the, I think this is uh, going to mimic what you've got going on fairly closely. We've got a members, staff, and activity log table. And the way things run now as connected, we've got I've got four records uh, in these tables. Uh, you don't say whether your date created is a date field or a date time field. So um, that's that's a bit of an issue. But this will still work. You might just have to make some adjustments for the uh, the field we're looking at. Um, time called is really what you want to go after because uh, even though you, if this is just a date field, then um, and if they're all running on the same date, then you can't group by by that uh, to get something uh, valuable out. But um, you you do have a time called field, so we can group on that and and test for that as well. So right now I've got four records coming out. I'm going to add a where statement now. And the where statement is going to have uh, an inner select statement. So uh, we're going to look at where time called uh, in a select statement that says give us the max time called from the activity log and group by the activity log member ID. So when we do that and we perform a preview, then we're going to get one record out for each user, or for each member rather. Uh, which is the very latest time called. Now if the if date create is a date time and you want to test on that, you just need to change uh, time called here and here out for uh, date created. And I think that'll get you a little closer to where you want to be. Thanks for watching.